Hello folks, some of the things that uh, we can never run away from there are things like stress. We can never run away from stress. And um, some people say something that I don't believe in, of course. Some people say that, for example, if you close your eyes and then you count one, two, three, up to ten, that you can it can help reduce stress or it can help maybe reduce other things. But then what if I told you like there are some things that you cannot control with with that for example if you're in a class and then there's you have a friend or you have a you have a lecturer whoever it is who is irritating you and that person is stressing you up do you think you closing your eyes and then counting one to t one two three up to ten will solve anything it will not solve anything and uh, as a matter of fact it will never reduce anything at the end of the day in this video i'm going to share with you six tips that i believe in that can help you cope with stress of course, you know that we can never cure stress, but we can reduce it to a manageable state and use the rest of the stress as the fire to project ourselves, to move ourselves into a better place. Join me in this video and sit back, relax. And if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing. Click that subscribe button, smash the like button, and above all, ensure that you are sharing these videos because it is for the betterment of us and for the betterment of everybody. Let's dive into what we have today so stress uh stress is the imbalance actually between the resources and the demand imbalance between the resources and the demand or we can say that it's the imbalance that comes between reality and expectation something that you are hoping for and something that's happening right now for example let me let me go to uh, a specific example especially for the comrades you are sitting there you are hoping that you are supposed to be eating but at the end of the day you have nothing in your pocket it gives rise to stress you are aiming for a first class honors and then what, you, what are you getting just pure scoops it's not a bad thing but then at the end of the day you realize that you'll be getting brain you, you'll be working out your brain you'll be having brain strain because of things that you can't control most of the time and the things some of the things you can control yes but then maybe the means to control them it's very tough or they are very hard means to control them so they give rise to the little thing that we call stress so if you have any coping mechanism that you use you can share it down below in the comment section and you can enable the other people to understand and to learn better from what you do as a person so one of the things or one of the main ways to curb stress or to cope with stress is to understand how your body works understand understanding how your body works uh be this person is very self-aware of yourself so that you can get to notice when some of your body changes when some of your behaviors change so you can be able to notice like if for example i i I flip the, the fingers or I start finching the ear, the eyes or maybe something happens to you and all of a sudden you are trembling, your legs are shaking. Being able to understand yourself that whenever such a reaction happens, it's because of the stress, then you'll be able to understand yourself better so that you can know when are you getting to stress so that you can manage it earlier enough. So that's one of the very critical things to notice and to understand when your body is giving you a reaction that is telling you that you're getting stressed so that you can cope or you can work on it early enough before it gets to the peak because some of the things that uh, i'm going to share below there are things that mo some of us have tried some of us have tried and they have not worked not because they are not working but because they started using the same methods that i'm going to share or because they started applying the methods that i'm going to share after the stress was on the peak so these methods actually that they are methods that can help you to manage stress that has not reached the depression point because once it's at the depression point then one thing i can advise you is either to seek medical attention or see a trained therapist or a peer counselor so that you can get you can be advised accordingly and they can guide you in regaining into your natural path another thing is that uh which is very important is always do take breaks Take breaks from whatever you're doing. Are you this guy? Are you, are you the nerd who studies the whole day? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Take some breaks and they'll be very 
crucial to you. You can realize that most of the time when you sit and you're focused on some work for a long time, for example, if you're a graphic designer, if you sit, if you sit on that computer, and you're designing maybe a flyer or a poster, or you're designing a website, maybe you're a programmer or something, you can realize that at the end of the day, your, your brain will be at a very great strain and you cannot even realize the mistakes that you're making. Why? Because you don't take breaks. Take some breaks from your normal works, go take a walk, go take a stroll, stand somewhere, leave alone your phone and maybe Take, take a little walk, go breathe outside, walk outside, don't just take a break and sit there. You're taking a break from a computer and then you're getting to your phone. That's not a break. Literally, that's just the same thing. Take a break from the electronics, go take a walk somewhere, or go stand somewhere, or go interact with your friend for the few moments so that your mind can regain. Because uh, a story is told uh, of uh, swimming in a sea full of honey. You can never be able to make any move, any little move. You can never be able to make any little move. But if when you're swimming, when you're swimming on water, you can make a move. So one thing that is that that story is related to is related to how the mind strains over time. Because the more you are working on something, the more dense the mind is becoming. Same to the water and the honey. So with time the state of the mind will, be, will move from the water side to the honey side because it, the honey is more denser than the water you understand that so once the mind is now full 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 and you realize that there's nothing constructive you never be productive working for long hours because at the end of the day you'll be straining yourself for no reason so take a few breaks go grab something go take a drink doesn't matter whatever you do to reduce the mental strain another great thing is that organize and streamline your work organize and stream, uh, streamline your work or your process whatever you're working on if you have been given a deadline or something if you have a you're supposed to meet a given schedule you're supposed to hit a given target then one of the greatest things that you can consider doing is you having a start from the deadline and then reverse engineer to the first day that is the present day for example if the work is starting today and the deadline is in uh maybe in a month's time reverse engineer and program yourself have a schedule of how you want the things to run for you to avoid having stress especially when it comes to academic stress and uh maybe even work stress just program yourself be organized and uh, delegate some of the duties if you have to sit down with yourself ask yourself yes i have this work to work on i have these things to do do i have to do all these things by my own maybe not delegate some of the duties do you need help about something ask for the help don't don't be somewhere and be struggling on yourself being going hard on yourself for things that you can be asking out because you can't be struggling actually with something that maybe somebody else knows better. And it will save you a lot of energy. It will save you a lot of power and everything. The mental strain maybe and other things if you ask out something. Besides, it always makes the people you are asking or the people you are consulting to feel more better or more attached or more important to you. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win. So ask out if you have to. Delegate some of the duties. Just to reduce and always to avoid last minute rushes because the last minute rush is one of the great things that can cause a lot of lot of a great stress to you so another great thing is that exercise 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 i can stress this from today until tomorrow but then do you know what something funny is that people don't even take it serious people don't even understand how crucial or how important uh doing exercises can be to yourself and to others so when you exercise first one of the easy things that you can you understand from the exercising is that it makes you it, it makes the body to release the hormones of happiness that's the dopamine i think i think that's the biological term so the dopamine hormone is the feeling good hormone and once it is released your mind becomes relaxed and your body becomes relaxed at the end of the day you realize that when your body relaxes the stress in you reduces so 
always do exercise. When I say exercise, it doesn't really necessarily mean that you have to go eat the gym, you have to go run 10 miles. Now you don't have to do all that. Simple exercises like maybe even doing the jumping jacks, even doing some five five push-ups, it is very important, provided it's an exercise. Even taking a walk for a given distance, it's a good exercise. Taking a little jog, a little exercise, but it helps the mental state. And one of the things that you have to care about in this life, actually, is your mental health, all your general health. That's the one of the best things that you have to take care, all take into consideration about. So take breaks and above all do exercise i can stress this enough do exercises not just big exercises not going to the gym simple exercises even the mental exercises they help very much they help very 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 much another great th great thing is that always embrace having fun embrace having fun so when i when i talk about fun technically it means it can be you going out to your friends you hanging out with your besties you going to the bar having a drink you heading somewhere maybe eating some food whatever you want to do provided that i don't know def the definition of fun actually it differs from one person to another there's some people Fun to them means dancing. There's some people fun to them means listening to music. Some people fun to them means maybe taking a bike ride. Some people it means maybe traveling. Just do that which pleases your mind. Do that which relaxes your mind, provided it is fun. If it is going out to party, if it is going to celebrate with your peers, if it is going to dance with your fellows, or if, even if it is going to watch some football or to watch or to watch athletics or any other game do that which releases your mind it is very important and it's very critical always impress having fun make great time for you have your the you time you time when we talk about the you it's like the selfish time the time that you create for yourself and that time is not negotiable for any under any circumstance create time for yourself and that time you have to dedicate it just for you if you say at this time I'm going to take a bike ride and then that time I switch and then there's another commitment that commitment should wait because at the end of the day you come first I of everything so create time for yourself to have fun another great and the last point that I'm having tonight is a very great and important point one that's not actually understood by many men ladies understand it better but then at the end of the day you let us that men they don't understand it and uh, the main excuse or the main reason for them is that a man should be working or a man should be finding his own way so it is sleep have enough sleep enough sleep to me okay enough sleep generates eight hours but then for a grown-up enough sleep is just even a minimum of six hours or an average of six hours sleeping for that time is actually a difficult thing for many of us it's a difficult thing for many people because you have a lot of deadlines to meet you have a lot of work to do maybe you are doing some different assos you come home you are late maybe it's late you are maybe let us take an example you get home 10 p.m at night and then you still have another work that you have to meet a deadline by 12. So from this 10, you have not taken any break, you are into another task. And this task maybe after it extends to 12, you after you have submitted, you realize that there's something that you had promised to do during the day that you have not done. And then when you get to do that stuff, it's almost 2 a.m. And then you have to wake up by 6. So at the end of the day, you realize that you are sleeping maybe four hours a day. I don't disagree, I don't negotiate because because some of the people say it's better to struggle right now and then enjoy later. But then what is the point of you struggling right now then later you struggle with healing the diseases that you'll be suffering from. So what I can just say is that have enough sleep and drink a lot of water. So water, how does, how does water come in in this situation because that water is just like a bonus point. Water helps uh the same if i can take you back to the honey issue the honey and the and the river issue water boosts the the mobility water boosts the mobility of blood in the body so 
uh, how does high blood pressure come? Hypertension, because if I ask you right now, if you know any other person who has hypertension, you'll be able to mention names. So hypertension actually, it has become a very, 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 can I say common disease to many people? So hypertension, it's given rise by stress. Stress actually is a contributor to the hypertension issue. So hypertension is when blood can't, can't flow and hence the blood needs a lot of pressure to be pumped through the body but if you drink enough water and it's the at the early stages or it's at the normal stages then you can be able to control it so drink a lot of water they reduce stress and above all they reduce even the potential so sending out one of the things that you have to realize that all these things that i've said they're easier said than done i can tell you go do exercises but then it's easier to say from next week, I'll start working on, on this. From next week, I'll start uh, going for morning runs. From next week, I'll start going to the gym. You know, this this after listening to one strong motivation from maybe a very strong, strong athlete, and you're like, I'm psyched up. I'm ready, I'm ready. I want to go hit the gym. All these things, they're easier said than done, than done but I didn't say that they're easier done than said. So you just have to consider that they need dedication, they need practice. And another thing is that you have to learn to reduce stress when it is still earlier on the stage and when it is still manageable. And you can't kill the old stress because you need the other stress to propel you. You need the other stress to be like the fuel for into your dreams because at the end of the day, you realize that if you don't have any little stress, you'll be doing nothing, nothing at all. So manage the little stress and the remaining stress, let it propel you to your success, let it pro pro propel you to your dreams. That's it for now. If you have any other coping mechanism that I've not mentioned, consider typing it in the comment section and sending out is the book 21. All I can add you right now is that you subscribe, like, and share this video to your family members, to any other person because stress has no age and stress has no gender. It cuts across to everybody. Until another time, book 21 is my name.